Hi, I'm Toby Marsden. I'm here with Quintiles IMS, and we're going to be talking about how they're driving innovation in their markets. I'm with Stefan and Thomas. So Thomas, can you give us a little bit of background what Quintiles IMS is about, what they do as a business? We are trying to um, provide more efficiency, uh, deliver better and faster, that's our challenge, and that's why we are now transforming um, our processes and moving to DevOps and continuous uh, uh, deployment and testing. So Quintiles AMS is, uh, has changed a lot because it, it is a merger of two big companies. The, the company has a lot of different uh, products. We have uh, servers on-premise and we have servers in, the, servers in the cloud, so it's, it's more complex for us to, 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 to support as well. So we try to implement a process that could uh, work in uh, all these different use cases and answer our customer needs. So I guess you've got different kind of requirements in terms of delivery speeds and different environments that you've got to support. Um, you know, and, and then obviously from a testing perspective, Stefan, it's going to be a challenge to bring together all of those environments in one unique process and a continuous process. We are doing it very quickly today, but we want to, to be much more efficient tomorrow because we have many devices to support, many iOS, many web applications in a complex industry, as you mentioned, with complex business processes. We have also regulation, we need to be GXP compliant, we need to, to answer to FDA needs, so our clients are auditing us in terms of traceability, automation is key for us to, 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 to reduce the time to market, to do it better. We need to, to do more effort to, to drive this level of efficiency to the next level. And where are you in the journey today? The first step is to have clear processes. So today we have clear processes. So we worked first on the process, so with all the different teams from development to, to production, we spent time last year to, to on, on uh, Kaizen uh, uh, Lean sessions and to define our process from end to end, to improve it, to optimize it, to make it faster. We have a lot of uh, automated scripts and processes to deploy, but it's not end-to-end -end really, so we were partially in a continuous uh, deployment um, and we worked on, on with the different teams to uh, define um, a common process for all the products and now we, we have a, a clear plan and we are executing it at the moment. The vision that, that, we, that we have today is to, to, to have the, the full end-to-end -end, uh, view of the process. Today it is split into the products itself, so on the DevOps, on the testing, on, on the CI. So we want an holistic view of that. We, we are more reactive than proactive today. So we want to move from, okay, we identify an issue, we fix it, we identify, we fix it. No, we want to be able to, to find the issue before, before it comes in our hands. Yeah, remediation before it becomes a problem, I guess. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So obviously within that, transformation you're driving, there's a lot of cultural change, a lot of teams that have to be part of that model. How, how are you managing that? We used to have sort of silos. We all agreed together that we need to change, we need to break silos. The continuous deployment is really the IT uh, uh, DevOps uh, team in our uh, organization and the continuous testing is, is test team. So it's good, we are all trying to, to work together. Now we have uh, more collaboration and, and we really want, I think we, we all sh are sharing the same vision and what we would like to do. Mm -hmm. The challenge today is to be able to provide a vision or a view for all the different teams on what is done by the team before or the team after. The big change we made is also collaboration. So if we can have a tool that allows us to share the same level of information on a specific uh, subject, that matters for a specific team, but that may impact the, the, the overall product, that's fine. It is key for us to have KPIs or information on which our um, managers can rely to make informed based decisions. So data for us is critical and the quality of the data from our software factory it's critical to, to, to take the right information before releasing a product on the market. We, we rely on specific uh, internal innovation based on business intelligence. 
but this drives only the current facts. So I'm still reactive, not proactive. I know the quality of the system today, but in a testing perspective. So if I can loop, I have a system to loop and have this full end-to-end -end view from developing a product to putting it to production, see how it is used, are we testing the right thing in the right way, could be good. And from a CI CD pipeline perspective, Thomas, is there anything different that you're displaying to management in terms of the KPIs that are traditionally given on the projects? Is there another set of information that you're now displaying so they're, they're seeing value early on and they can drive that kind of adoption model faster? Today we focused on, on delivering faster to QA first, to test and, and to provide feedbacks. I think the KPIs is really something we, need, we will have to focus in the coming months, yeah. We're seeing a lot of people deploy a lot of open source technologies and the teams adopt different type of technologies. How, how are you bringing that together in a kind of unique way so you can allow some freedom for the teams to be able to drive some activity and, and pick the tools they want, but also bring that back to some business management, aggregation layer, etc. We want our team to be free to choose what they want. But we need to be agreed on, on, on the key principle of software um, delivery, building. So that's the point. On top of that, we are sharing the same principles. We know that we will have some differences, but the, 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 the tooling and, and, and the process is agreed and in, is shared. So it's, it was easier than expected. Yeah, sure, yeah. But I guess if you're showing continuous value and you can prove that it's you know helping and making you go faster and better etc then the adoption should be smoother i guess exactly yeah what, what one piece of advice would you give people to that are going on a similar journey and trying to transform themselves I think the first thing is to share with all the different stakeholders uh, the key principles we want to uh, to to have we are a cross product team so we could be uh, the control and command uh, team, the police, so I think it's not the best way to do it. Um, so I think it's better to let uh, people med make their own choice and you will have to, to, to verify that the standards are here, applied, that the requirements, the minimum requirements, compliance, regulation are, are here. Having the same tools everywhere is not the main requirement. I think the same process is very important. We organize workshops around that with all the stakeholders and we exchange in an open way, friendly way, and get finally the consensus. And we, we do that after each release. We have continuous improvement. So what went well first, be positive, and then, okay, what can be improved? And trust. Communication and collaboration is absolutely key around it because we are in the technology, but it's all about human. Yeah. And I suppose if I was going to ask one last thing before we wrap up, what's your perception of the strategy, the tooling, the, the things? What, what, what surprised you the most? Personally, I like the vision. The vision of, okay, everyone is welcome. We have a hub. We provide an holistic view of the end-to-end -end process. So, by doing this, we are transparent. We can build trust on that, moving from reactive to proactive. So the next big revolution is data science inside the testing activities. I started years ago with business intelligence, but we need now to move one step beyond. I think you understood really what we need and where we are. I've seen good product coming. Um, the open source, uh, uh, links with uh, with, you, with your product is really welcome, and and I think it will help us to to to, to implement value on top of what we have. We will uh, run a, a proof of concept of uh, with Octane to, to to get visibility on what we are all doing uh, on, on our product with this. Great. Well, Stefan, Thomas, thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. the time. Thank you very much. Thank you.